Ah, welcome back everyone to the legacy of the Vikings! So guys, we're back here in this episode of Austin awesome Square. We're continuing off from where we left off. And we are going to go to war no way this episode. I'm pretty sure this episode. Like, if it's... It's almost guaranteed it's going to happen this episode. And... I have been... You know doing my best to try to make sure that we keep upgrading our stuff and keep ourselves in the game right now we have you know now that we got everything got back back on track we have oh that's so that production efficiency might be really nice to have plus with our national mob fire Ooh, nice anyways um we're doing a lot of good things right now we have just colonized manhattan I think we might have destroyed the natives in this area. We might have. I'm not entirely sure. And now since we don't need as much administrative tech, I'm going to start coining some of these areas. These areas are already Swedish, Swedish Protestant, which is nice. That's the one thing I do like about these areas is that the already Swedish province are nice. So I'm going to construct here. Oh, they already have level one forts. Okay, I was about to say I'm going to construct a level one fort, but they already have it. That's nice. Over here, this thing's coin too. That's nice. I'm gonna have to convert that to from Catholicism to actual stuff, which isn't nice. That, yeah. So, anyways, we're waiting for our ships to get back from their colonial adventures. We're gonna go send all of our armies to kill the Norwegian army. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. So, I'm gonna send one army right here, one army down here. No, right there. There we go. Oh, we're both just going to just crush them right there. I want to make sure that we end this in a quick and easily manner. And all we're going to take is the rest of our land. So, Trundelag, you guys play war. Let's see, your only ally is Ireland. This is going to be easy. Okay. Go in. Go in. Okay, uh, raise war time and taxes. Uh, yep. Let's keep a good modifier for the next two years. Reduce inflation. Uh... Yeah, let's let's reduce inflation just by a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let's go! So we're going to conversion successful, yes! Okay, so yeah, we are moving faster and faster with this whole uh with this whole uh you know uh conversion process. It's like I mean we are really doing good. So um first off I should probably start working on my rest of my colonies. Uh no I can't, because it's already still there. Well I might as well yeah, I want to. I should probably get, you know, Sweden proper first done with before I start dealing with all the rest of it. I mean, we got we got so much land; it's going to take a long time. So let's just start working on that. Religious, religious unity is starting to come into play, and my national mob fights are starting to come into play. And we're about to go attack these guys on two different armies. Okay, and now I got another army to go chase them. So please destroy them. I don't want to start having to deal with like six different. Uh, dang it. This is exactly what I don't want to deal with. I don't want to, like, deal with six different armies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... So detach me to exclude suit properly. Okay. You guys go down here. We're going to go help these guys. So we want to make sure that we destroy all their armies. I want to make sure they're all dead. None of the armies are alive or kicking or any of that. Really, they must all die. Cause look at that, they already raised nine soldiers. And let's see, who joined against Ireland? Not, no, no offense, but the win-lose ratio of this is actually, why are they so even? It's more even than I thought it was going to be, but Ireland's not going to send any of its forces over here, so I'm not going to be particularly worried. I mean, come on, it's Ireland. I, I mean, the most they will do. I mean, literally the most they will do. Okay, colony damage, oh no. As long as they don't support whatever. Oh, you got to be kidding me. These guys kicked me out of Manhattan. That was kind of rude, man. That was kind of rude. I mean, I'm trying to conquest you guys peacefully, but if you guys don't listen, I'm going to have to send in my army, which evidently I've pointed out many times I don't want to do. Because sending in my army would basically mean certain death for you guys. And I don't want to do that. 
I really don't want to do that. Oh, shoot. That's probably gonna lose. Yeah. So that was our first battle lost. Let's see where we're heading. We're heading all the way back to New Stockholm. Did I make that my capital by accident? No, but I think it became our capital due to... Uh, you cannot move your cap. No, it just didn't. It's just everyone always goes to here. I don't know why. Okay, but we are now Danish. Denmark is now destroyed. It's good. Um, just no. Move down here. Go destroy this army. Actually, that's what I have to do. That army's gonna see through things faster than I thought. Okay, and it's about to get itself cornered too, which I love. So let's just move down here. Hopefully, they won't go for. Yes. Okay, they're cornered. Cornered. There's no way they can escape. Okay, and they died. Okay, now I'm gonna go send these guys up here. My men are over here. Go send these guys up here. We're gonna group up, then go destroy that 9,000 army. We just destroyed. Okay, they just conquered a little bit of my land. Not necessarily that important. Okay, I'm going to have to wait for a second. I mean, in all honesty, this is just a gigantic stall. I mean, I know I'm gonna win this. It, it's basically, it's, it's, it's not, it's not if the Norwegians can win this, it's how long is it going to take for me to win this. That destroyed their army, which I'm glad about. Let's see, what's the ratio here? Oh, just assault. Okay, let's move down here. And yep, this is the day when we kick out the uh, Norwegians from our land. I mean, seriously, detach the siege. I mean, this is it. Like, this is seriously it. And another colony is converted to the true faith. Faith, everyone! So now Protestantism is starting to spread really rapidly. I'm just taking out the slower colonies first. I mean, the slower places first. Because they're probably easier. I mean, the Protestant stuff is really starting to be good. This colony is going pretty fast, too. Like, over here, these... The New England colonies are going, going to grow really, really fast. If I manage this all correctly, these colonies will grow extremely fast. So, let's see. Let's grow another one in. Okay, go, how far can I go in? Gosh, I can go really far in. So, let's see. We want a really good base modifier. Pohatan. Hmm. Pohatan. Should we get Pohatan, guys? Should we get Massachusetts? Should we centralize or should we, like, move downward? Well... Hmm, gosh, let's see, Powhatan has a thousand, we're going to Powhatan, <laughs> a thousand natives, I think it would be slightly easier to establish than, uh, more than that. <laughs> okay, um, we can also start building some more basic buildings, like some temples, so yeah, let's spread, let's just spread the land full of just temples. Now that we found our true faith, now I don't have to be worried about it, about being, like, Catho Catholic. Catholic? Oh, why did I just call it Catholic? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're totally Catholic, everyone. Oh, that's not, I don't know, that, that it doesn't... Catholic sounds like some word you would use for, like, being a jerk or something. I don't know, it doesn't really fit the synonyms. Because... The Pope has invited us to attend the Council of Trent to debate the required reforms to me for the corruption and affiliation of the Church. Uh, we should we attend or should we not? I really don't care about the Pope. Now that I'm not a part of the papal seat, I don't even think I should be allowed to even be a part of anything. But sadly, they still want me there, so... Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try to siege down this one really quickly. It doesn't really work in this game. I already know that, guys. Don't don't tell me. But, you know, okay. So, rush of the colonists. Demographic, economic, and political pressure at home made way for sudden increase in the number of people looking for a better life. In the rich and charred lands and businesses in search of adventure and wealth in overseas trade. So, settler rates, or do I want overcome income? Settler rate, at this point, is now good. Now that we have, uh... Oh, and Ireland's getting its butt kicked by England. That is hilarious. Okay, I think they might have... I think whatever colony I may have sent over here might have just died. I'm not entirely sure. Like, they might have just died. Because I don't see any colony right here, so I'm assuming they might have just died. Over here, though... Looks like these colonies are being pretty dang stable. Now that this colony is an actual full-fledged place, it's pretty nice. Um, 
the trade now there's a Chesapeake Bay. How many people does it still say how many people are actually in this province? Because I would love to know. Like, I would love to know. Okay. Let's get some fortresses here. Because I know that there'll be some type of rebellion and fortresses in places like that would be extremely useful. Okay, over here though. It's gonna be nice. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Ireland's not gonna be able to stay in this war. Now that England has declared war, they're not gonna wanna stay in this war, and Norway has basically no choice but to peace out with me because I am a jerk. We've gained a core province, that means we just gained this. Which is nice. Now we got all of our new colonies poured. Over here we have one colony going in, and it's naval supplies. Wow. Didn't know that was even a requirement. So, this was fishing. This was furs. We haven't discovered what this is yet. Hopefully it's something good. We have a 278 colonists in this. So, let's see. Colonists. Manhattan. Powhatan. We're still trying to establish this colony right here. They're being... Oh, Powhatan. Yeah, we didn't establish one in uh, Massachusetts. We established one in Powhatan. And it looks to be growing at a 103 per year. Wow. That is an insanely big growth rate in both these colonies. That is great. That is actually great news, because then that means these are both going to grow really quickly and give myself some really good money. Alright, back to our Empire Wars. Our uh, phony baloney war of, uh, of Norwegian acceptance of us conquering them. Or at least kick them out of Norway so they're not really Norwegians anymore. Okay, so we have a minor rebellion over there. Gonna go send Carl Ribbing to go deal with it. And we don't really have to send a big force to go deal with this. This is just a little tiny rebellion because everyone's mad about me converting more stuff. All right. Anyways, um, it got all quiet for a second. That's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, so fish. Ah, dang, fish, really? I was hoping it would give me something a little bit more substantial, but eh. I guess, I guess that makes sense. Fish makes sense in the, in that region. Conversion successful, another place converted. Let's just keep up let's just keep going down the list. I mean eventually we will start yeah, Ericsford should be next, because Ericsford needs to be like Protestant immediately, so we don't have any rebellions. I don't want rebellions. Colony damage, Fohatan, Fohatan, yeah, it seems like I probably will have to go kill off any kind of natives in that place. This kinda stinks, because I really don't want to kill off the natives and no way, are you guys ready to admit defeat? Let's see. I want, in this deal, this. Well, actually, I just need full annexation. Total cost of this of the promises is too great. Dang it! Okay, but they would accept this. Give me as much gold as you can. Um, discard your tree with Ireland. No, actually! Actually, this might be even better. Force my religion. Let's see, let's see. I want to force my religion and you guys become a vassal of mine. That way... Um... That way we can basically do a lot of stuff. So let me just take off this. No, they would still not accept it. Okay. So let's just then... Oh gosh, I'd love to force my religion onto them. That would actually be kind of fun. Okay, maybe transfer trade power? No. No, I, I just don't think they're going to accept unless I stay in this war longer, which I don't really want to. Because we basically got what we wanted. So, send demand. You guys accept my demand? Yes! Okay. Start coin. Alright, start coin and... Let's see, it's 1445, so that means I only have a couple more years before this actually runs out. 1558, and that's going to be our next war, people. It's against the Livonian order. We need a Hungary or Tuscan or not at war. Um, you guys, actually, I'm going to go send you guys to the new world, because you guys need to go deal with some of our colony problems. Because they seem to really be wanting to attack me, so I'm just going to deal with them. You are our finest. Yay! But yeah, it seems like they really want to keep fighting me, so I'm just going to... I'm going to give them a fight. The natives want to fight, I'll give them a fight. I mean, it's not like I really want to, but... Okay, should I get income for this? But yeah, I do want this. 
Yes! So now commitment to our global empire is complete. Let's change the attitude. So now we have a permanent causes that lie against all pagans. Which means basically if I wanted to, I could go to war with these guys. Declare war. No? That's not how it works. Instead we get a permanent causes that lie against all pagans. Well maybe I need to like border them. So like in two colonizations we'll be good. Alright, but right now we are we're doing a lot superiority. Seems like a couple people are trying to show their might against me, which is evidently really funny. <laughs> okay, you guys go over here. You guys go over here. We're going to go send this army over there to Livonian order. Uh, fish, indeed. We're going to become known as the Nation of Fish. I swear, by the end of this, let's play, we're going to be known as the Nation of Fish. It's not necessarily the biggest title and the most fanciest title, but we're going to be known by that, and that's going to be... Yep! I'm definitely going to go after Pohat, and they've definitely pushed it way too far. Oh, gosh. I, I honestly am trying to be the peaceful guy here. Not try to be evil, and try to be the good guy who does not try to destroy the natives, but live in harmony with natives. But natives are making it very difficult for me to be peaceful. They just It's almost like they want me to go destroy them, which is kind of sad, but it's kind of true. So I'm going to have you guys go stomp out rebels. And let's see, wartime tactics should have worn off by now. I'm going to give you guys, like, this much. We're also almost done without inflation, which is nice. Because I, I hate inflation. It's one of my one of the worst things in this game. And England is now completely united. Wow, they just took out everything in that. That means they're probably going to turn out sights on the colonization next. That's not good. I don't like that idea. But now I'm going to go send my... Well, first, let's go deal with Pohatan. Pohatan is specifically the one that's been, you know, dealing with stuff, disable this. I know what exertion is. I'm dealing with that right now, right? Yeah, I'm dealing with that all right now. So, we're going to go first go deal with uh, the Pohatan na natives, because they're the ones who have specifically been destroying a lot of my stuff. All right, anyways, um, also, with that, can I get another leader? Because I'd love to get... Uh, and explore. Wow! I got Explorer too. I wonder how much I could actually keep doing that before they say I can't do anything else. Um, for this guy, uh... Let's start exploring a little bit more of the Caribbean. Now that we have a lot more closer ships, it should be much nicer. So let's just start exploring more. And let's just start exploring everything. Okay? And it seems like there's some colonies over here that are starting to be established, which is kind of cool. You know, seems like some other nations are starting to, like, come down here and start making their own colonies. It seems like France is starting to establish its own empire, which isn't necessarily what I wanted, but if they establish it in South America, I'll be fine. Because I really don't want South America, to be honest. I'll be gladly accepting North America. Okay, let's get right here, just so I get the general outline. Okay. And go up here, go get that little place right there. And do, 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 do. there we go. So there's the Aztec army. Wouldn't be that hard to squish. Not not gonna deny, wouldn't be that hard to squish if I really want to. Um now let's just start to start exploring some of these lands just because I hate I hate spaces. Just kind of my thing. And yeah, you guys might die now. Okay. If you guys can quickly make it back here. And try to dock up. There we go. And there's apparently a little island right here of Terra Oshka. Okay, and we killed all the Indians here? No, we didn't. So, kill all the natives here. Yep. I'm sorry, guys, but it wasn't my fault. You guys pushed it on yourself. I mean, I literally tried the best I could to be peaceful. Okay, and you guys all saw it. I mean, it wasn't... It's not like I'm being... I'm not, I'm not being hypocritical or like being self-righteous or anything like that. I really did try the best I could, but they did not listen. And it seems like most of my colonies are starting to become more and more easier to convert. I think it's because we have higher control now, and more and more people are starting to convert to Protestantism, which, as you guys can see, is just expanding quite quickly. Um, over here, we got our soldiers ready just on the border. Um, right now, they're in a war with Lithuania, Croatia, and Venice, so... 
Oh gosh, let's see. Is this the perfect time to strike? They're at war with Lithuania, Croatia, and Venice. Okay. Are they at war with these guys too? Oh yeah, this is the perfect time to strike. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see, are they winning this war? That's actually the bigger question. Are they winning this war? I think it was just declared, so I think it's going to be... It's going to be a big war, I know that. But should I act on it now? Hmm. Well, it seems like I'll have to leave that for next episode, guys. <laughs> so, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.